When Smith infected most of the Matrix, the ordeal affected the humans even after he was destroyed, forcing the architect to create a new blue pill medication. Was each previous anomaly or one put in study after their Matrix cycle concluded? In each cycle, does a new one emerge or do the machines recycle the same individual over and over again? So many new unanswered questions and Matrix 4 isn't even out yet. So today we will be discussing some questions submitted by you, our subscribers. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Today's first question comes from our subscriber, Video Blend. I wonder if the previous ones or anomalies were placed in a different matrix for study after their sacrifice, or was Neo the same anomaly in each matrix version, only with a different residual self-image each time, with memories removed each time? There are several things to take into account about what could have happened to the other anomalies. According to the architect, the path of the one does not end when he chooses to go to the source. That's just a part of the one's purpose. The One will function as the liberator and founder of a new Zion after the previous one is destroyed. In other words, the anomaly comes from a destroyed Zion and his final job is to build a new city without ever telling anyone the truth. The new inhabitants of the new Zion will think that they were the first ones to be freed, that their Zion is the one and only that has ever existed, and this one man who freed them is their savior. And before he dies, he will help spread the prophecy that another will come and destroy the Matrix once and for all. It was he who freed the first of us. After he died, the Oracle prophesied his return and that his coming would hail the destruction of the Matrix, end the war, bring freedom to our people. No doubt that this savior died in Zion so his body must be in the city somewhere. We know this because the Zion people never demanded or fought for the retrieval of his remains from the machines. Not like how Morpheus did for Neo's body in Matrix Online. Why won't they give up his remains? They say they haven't recycled them. They belong in Zion, in a holy place. He saved us. He saved them. He saved the Matrix. So we think that each anomaly is born in a different body, even if they are clones. Which brings us to another similar question from another subscriber, Callistic. Do the machines repair the anomaly's body after each cycle? I ask this because the trailer seems to show Neo being refurbished for the next cycle. Neo's case was different from the other anomalies. As we mentioned in our video detailing Neo's abilities, he showed to have different biological traits from the rest of the red pills. How is he? 10 hours straight, he's a machine. You may be thinking that this is a common denominator among all anomalies. Neo was fast as the other ones, but that's incorrect. Even the architect said so. Interesting. That was quicker than the others. This confirmed that Neo was different from the other anomalies. Also, he is the only one who chose to save a single person and not humanity. Biologically speaking, Neo is special. He rejected the path of the One and created his own, the path of Neo. The fact that Neo is the anomaly of anomalies is enough for the architect to want to study him and also to study Trinity since she was the cause of Neo rejecting his initial programming. But in Matrix Resurrections, Neo has dreams of his previous life, memories that the machines tried to erase. Given the opportunity, we believe that the machines steal or keep the bodies of the anomalies to study them and learn new ways to prevent their emergence in the next cycle. The next question comes from Sarah Martinez. How could programs act like humans and create another? I'm going to go with the machine logic and assume it's just like malware or a virus in that they hijack another existing program or override code. But with that being said, there is definitely a reason as to why Sati exists and I wonder if the director had it in mind to keep it cryptic or had a secret storyline in place since then. This is a complicated question because it assumes that consciousness is a uniquely human trait. However, it is not. Consciousness can be defined in different states, from the perception of the flora based on the climate to the different degrees of self-awareness that we see in animals. In the case of Ramakandra and Kamala, both were born thanks to the existence of the true AI. 
You mean artificial intelligence? A singular consciousness that spawned an entire race of machines. This singularity of consciousness is when the machines manage to transcend and have a real consciousness. Both Rama and Kamala have a high level of consciousness, possibly at the same level as the humans. The difference is that the programs from Machine City are created with an objective purpose, but they are not the only programs that have experienced love, mind you. Persephone implied that she loved the Merovingian once. Besides that, the Oracle teaches Sati that everything needs love. The machines have developed their own consciousness at an equal level as the humans. What makes Sati special is that she is a program that breaks the rules. She is a purposeless program, but this may be a ruse. The machines developing consciousness is what caused their first conflict with the humans, because B166ER rebelled against its master. It showed that robots were not simply tools, but slaves for the humans. Since then, the struggle between humans and machines escalated, but the machines respected the humans' individuality. Perhaps the machines wanted to resemble their masters. A few months ago, we made a video explaining everything about the B166ER trial, the first robot to rebel and kill its master. We will leave a link to this video in the description. And stay tuned, as we have something special planned concerning B1. And our last question of the day comes from Loco Madmen. Would you ultimately like to be proven right or wrong with your theorizing? To clarify, what would be more satisfying? A wholly original but otherwise enjoyable story that completely upends the current understanding of the Matrix as a whole? Or having your keen insight validated with a story that meets your expectations yet offers nothing new? The question is understandable given the nature of YouTube. The format of our videos is similar to the videos dedicated to other franchises such as Marvel or Star Wars, which many were invalidated once each film was released. However, we are of the mindset that focuses primarily on lore. Many of our videos will be invalidated once Matrix Resurrections is released. But the purpose of our videos isn't only to predict the movies. If that were the case, we'd perhaps be only focused on possible spoilers or leaks. The purpose of theorizing is to analyze all the possibilities of the Matrix universe. Because according to the creators, there is no single correct interpretation. Anyone can see the Matrix and understand it differently. This channel was created to generate discourse, questions, and theories about this franchise's past, present, and potential future, and explain its elements within the rules of the Matrix universe. Once Matrix Resurrections is released, we will have a new frame of reference to propose new questions and theories. As fans of the Matrix, we hope the film does leave us with new mysteries to discuss for decades to come, as its predecessors did. But do you agree? What happened to the bodies of the other anomalies? Leave in the comments below what other questions you would like us to answer. The day-to-day -day routine can feel like an endless cycle. Waking up can feel almost impossible, but not for us at Simulate. We have the best variety of coffee and hot beverages to help you wake up to a new life. Stop by our establishment, where you'll also find a great selection of literature to go with your coffee. And who knows, you might even come across a familiar face. Have we met? Simulate, the best cafe in Mega City. Because there is only one way, and that is Simulate. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.